our guests have arrived in the studio Fanya Mambo Kenodia is an advocate and uh, Kemani Ngunjiri is the former Bahati MP they're both in the studio good morning gentlemen a very good morning to you good morning yes Kribuni sana to the hot seat the situation room good to see you again Fanya Mambo good to see you again Mushmiwa how, how are things going well not bad not good yeah just there ah, in the just there <laughs> <laughs> but we are happy because we are alive <laughs> and we <laughs> you know, every time i see you this cas position but is it coming or is it not my brother maybe you might help me i've been waiting you've been waiting one and a half year, <laughs> <laughs> year eh? marriage in parliament marriage no, no, no salary nothing just mm. i'm a king i fought for this government but god knows mm. but we are hustlers. We are still working on the shamba mm. and waiting. If it still comes, if it doesn't on. come, mm. fine. You go. You move on. I will just move on. Okay. Mm. We've been talking about Senegal, which has a new president, a young man. I'm sure Fanya Mambo will have a couple of things to say about that. Eh? <laughs> he being a young man. Himself. Yeah, many young men in the country have been saying Allah. Kumbe, Kumbe now is a can. It's possible. <laughs> yes, it's possible. But it's because also our proverbs for this week are coming from Senegal. Yes. City. Mm-hmm. What is today's proverb? It's actually very simple. Mm. Four words. Kings have no friends. Kings have no friends. Kimani, what's your interpretation of this proverb? I can stamp saying that is the truth. Mm. Yes. You know, there's a book of uh, 47 rules mm. <laughs> of leadership. Mm. And uh, especially when you are very popular and strong, and you help the president. And when he wins, he must cut your camera. <laughs> he must. And he must stream you completely. Why? That's, that's, those are 47 rules of the power. Because this man is popular. This man is known. Eh? And maybe he might not maybe support me the way I want. Maybe he might not be psychophant the way I want. Mm. And so you'll be streamed. That, that's normal in politics. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's normal in politics. Kings of North Which friends. is unfortunate. Kings have no friends. No, 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 no. <laughs> Unless the friends we, who is going to make, if make good friends mm. and maybe do what he wants. Mm. Maybe that he, they can be friends. But no, can, no permanent friend, yeah. no permanent enemy okay. in the politics. That's the policy I know for politics. So I agree with my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Fanya Mambo, what's yours? I think I would relate it to, if you remember, Julius Caesar and Brutus. Mm. Everywhere where Caesar was, if you looked within four or five meters, Brutus was there. Mm. Just like uh, you'd say President Moy and the late Biwot. Mm. But unfortunately, you remember on the day when cabinet met and decided they are going to knife um, Julius Caesar. They are mm. going to kill him by stabbing. What killed Caesar was not the fact that the others were stabbing him. Mm. is when he saw Brutus holding a knife to stab him. And he said, Etu Brutu, that even you, Brutus, <laughs> he couldn't believe that Brutus would be part of a plan to knife him. Mm. And so I think uh, even those who surround kings are always salivating at the kingship itself. Mm. So the king has to know that everybody here is also a Brutus. Mm. And if they had an opportunity to be king, they wouldn't hesitate to be king. Even if that person, the, the king, stood in their way. Yes, and if you want to know, look at Kabila and how Good Kabila job. left and who and how he was succeeded by Loro Loro Desiree. Desiree. Papa or son? The, by, the, by the younger Kabila. No. Mm -hmm. So that even if you became king today your son could and your son has an opportunity to be king, given a chance he would kill you to be king. Mm. In fact, you, the two of you have brought analogy that is i hadn't thought of it until you started bringing it up 2013 uhuru and ruto are inseparable yes literally they even wore red ties together mm. and white shirts i mean they were inseparable mm. you looked and said uh, this is a serious nusumkati mm. government mm. and even when the spoils were divided ministries you said hey this is a genuine nusumkati government and then how did that one end <laughs> they ended up having a lot of problem. Which of them was the king? Who was king at that time? Okay. Yes. Well, who mm. was the king? But you see, the deputy was there. But I think he was also preparing himself. <laughs> to deputy take, king. To take <laughs> the seat of the king. <laughs> and uh, I, it worked out. And, uh, you know, <laughs> he prepared himself. And uh, at the end of the day, mm. you could not say 
these were two brothers. You know, we had a lot of problem of Nusumukate, Nusumukeka. We had a lot of problem in the country mm. and a lot of pressure. Mm. When Kibaki does this, Leila saying, no, I was not consulted. And Kenyans were very tired. Mm. So as my brother is saying, <laughs> when Uhuru came with the Ruto, he used to call him William, mm. not Ruto. My brother William. My, my brother. brother William. Mm. And when I saw them in the state house wearing the white shirt and the red tie, I said, oh, we have a hope. Mm. We have hope now in Kenya. Mm. Hey, these guys here are young. They have come together. And we have hope now. We shall not hear anymore about Nusmukate, Nusmukeka. So I thought it would be like that. Mm. <laughs> After five years, my brother, Shockery. it was shocking to everybody that these people cannot see eye to eye. Eh? And now the pressure also started tricking down to the common Mwananchi. Mm. So I, I think those kind of things, I don't know. I don't mm. know. Because it is all over. We see all over the world, even the the person we are saying as a young now and he was supported by the other person, it will be a crash very soon. It will very, come. very soon, yeah. Because that dream and thinking of the person who supported in mm. his heart is just saying, if it's not if it was not me. Sonko believes he's the reason why he's yes. president. Not, yes. not believes, he knows. He knows, that's how he knows. <laughs> and you see now they'll be looking at each other. Mm. If it's not me, you'll not be there. Let yeah. me tell you, my brother. I've done business, many businesses, and uh, companies, businesses, when you start when you are two, both of you come with a very good idea. Eh? How do I do this? You cover the weakness of the other person, you work, you work very well. But when you succeed? When there's money. When there's money, yes, mm -hmm. that's the word, when there's money. Where? You hear one saying, ah, if it's not me, this company will not be there. Mm -hmm. The other one will be saying, if it's not me, this guy had nothing. Mm -hmm. And the company will go down because of that. Mm -hmm. So it's a very bad and serious thing to the human being. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Enter the hustler. And you've said you're a hustler, Kimani. Yeah. You worked and campaigned for the administration. It's in office. Are hustlers happy? Well, let me say... Uh, they, they, they are not happy up to now. We have to pull up our socks because mm. they are not happy. Because uh, many things which we, we promised, maybe they are not working very well. And uh, maybe if they are working, then we are reaching somewhere, then we do some messes. Like the one we have done for Patraisa. Mm. Then now, you see, the Patraisa has taken us very high. Mm. Very high hope with the farmers and the country to have food. But now you saw you saw what happened then now we are in problem we're in shit now because <laughs> let me tell you mm. patraiza mm. sugar mm. Uh, muchele mafuta uh, mafuta mm. those things are only mm. given contract by the people who have the <clears throat> name who has the name mm. in the country you cannot just stand and get it that's what i, I can tell you for the years i've worked mm. it's not easy it's not so, anybody who gets that Yeah, it's just contract. people who matters. Mm. And you see, now, with the, this same, of the issue of Patraiza, it was just the same. But you see, we need to know who supplied. Because the last year, mm. it was government to government. Mm. It worked very well. We were very happy, mm. all of us. Especially me, for all my years, I used the uh, Patraiza called the DAP. Mm. I, I knew that nothing else. Mm -hmm. So when the president came with the new patriots, I, I was not uh, actually comfortable with it, but I said, let me try. Then I tried. When I tried, the mix was very good, mm -hmm. very productive and very green. And I was very happy. But after reaching the ceiling, something else, something else have come. That now, <laughs> even some words are a shame to mention that patriots, you get, I don't know, you call it mafia, a mm. eh? You know, there. Eh? You, but you, is you it cannot true? See. Is it true, Kimani, that mm. there is fake fertilizer? Because we've seen conflicting messages from government. There are those that say yes, there is fake fertilizer. We are investigating. We NCPB says we have halted the distribution of fertilizers as we conduct some probe. And then we hear other communication uh, from people like Dennis Itumbi saying no, 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 no. There is no fake fertilizer. Want Siminak show? No fake fertilizer. What is the truth? Well, according to me, the truth, you know, I'm a Christian. Mm. And I always say I've remained just two things in this earth. To talk the truth and to organize myself to go in heaven. 
the only two things which I have ahead of me. <laughs> so I cannot hide saying the truth. Mm -hmm. You know, some, sometimes if you are caught light-handed, let's accept and say sorry, an apology. You know, this issue of patriotism, when it became problem, it started with Western. And I want to say sorry and I want to apologize to the people of Western. I thought it's the politics of Western. But later on, this patriotism was everywhere. Mm -hmm. It was even in Akuru County, Moro, and all those places, mm -hmm. and many other places. Let's agree and say some of these patriotisers was not good. A big number was good, but there's a certain number which was not good. Mm. Let's say that and apologize and say, can the government give us these people who supplied this? Because there are people who are given a contract to supply a patriotism. Mm. And if we just go around without talking the truth, then uh, Kenyans are watching us. And we must present this person because the contract, the, the people who are given contract, they are known. Let me tell you, the patriotism when it comes to, the, to Mombasa, it comes with a ship open in a board inside. Mm. So the package is done in Mombasa, the package. Mm -hmm. So the way this patriarchy ended to the Kenya seed, uh, seed your board, mm. you cannot blame the people of seed your board because they have brought the patriarchy which was packed. So how was it packed or how was this changed in between? Because even the person who was parking, can he park surely the things we are seeing? <laughs> you know, he can't park. And if he can park, then why can't he be presented and be told, this is the person this who didn't even see the strong thing. And the truth will let us free. Mm. Let's, my brother, even if I do something wrong with my brother here, it takes me a second to say, I'm sorry, my brother. Mm. Something happened. I was maybe not in the mood. I maybe said something which was not good. Forgive me. Just that statement is very simple. But up to now, even me, I'm waiting the person who supplied bad patricia. We are waiting up to now. For them and to if we don't honest. come out for that, we are not going to clean ourselves. <laughs> we are going to be in the mess. Mm -hmm. Because the hope of this country, it is food. Yeah. And if it is food, actually, and now is the time of rain. In fact, I've just come from the samba planting. Mm -hmm. What do we do? Some way people, as you are saying, they have said, this patricia should be stopped mm -hmm. to be sold. Now it is stopped. What will be alternative. Second, the people who bought, and they bought bad patrons and they have receipts. Can we do something very fast before even looking for the pass for the criminal, compensate these people, make sure they are patrons so we can save the country for having good, good crop. Right. So those are my thinking mm. as mm. and those are my words. Mm. They are not your words. They are yeah, my those words. Those are yours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Uh, Weshmo Kimani is talk talking about you know, very many things. Fertilizer, mm -hmm. eh, mafuta, eh, what else has he said? All those things All that those he says, things, you yeah. know, the hustler is feeling not happy. You're not surprised, are you? I'd like to start from where he started. Mm. Is the hustler happy? No. You know, there are two things. The first thing is, first, that the promises that were made were never kept. The bulk of them were never kept. But now the Kenya Kwanza has taken it a step further. They are like, not only have we not kept your promises, we feel like we want to pinch you even further. Look at the evictions in the Rift Valley. People are being evicted from land. I saw an 89-year-old man at Industrial Area Police Station, and he had been locked up for 12 days. And his only crime was being found in a land he has lived in all his life. And his member of parliament coming and saying that you don't own this land. I am your member of parliament. I am telling you this land is owned by somebody else. And the person telling this old man that is younger than the old man. So this man is born here, brought up here. He's buried his parents there. He's being told this land is not yours. If you want to know the owner, go and ask Mweshimu Ajem Kehara. She'll tell you who is the owner of this land. And when you take an 89-year-old man and put them in a prison in industrial area, so not only are you refusing to keep the promises to the hustler, you are taking it further and taking away from them that which belonged to them. Mm. That's the pain. That you have taken it another level that not only am I peeing on your head, I am also telling you it is raining. And I want to look at you in the face and tell you it is raining. That is where the problem is. 
But it goes further to the fertilizer thing. Mwashimua hope is not lost. You see, that fertilizer is not entirely useless. You know, to build affordable housing, you need gravel. So it can be used in the affordable housing. You take it uh, as you're doing the foundation. You pour it as part of the foundation. Because when you do that, it will fertilize the imagination of the architects and the engineers. And the houses will grow so fast. So don't pour it. Don't throw it away. It's gravel. We saw it's stone. Fanya Mambo Kenovia is a lawyer and Kimani Gunjiri is a former MP for Bahati. He would have been the chief administrative secretary in what state department? Lands, lands, Land. housing, ah. and public work. Bah, See? Yeah. <laughs> so, so you know about lands and housing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not yet inside, so don't ask me those questions. <laughs> okay, so you talk about the hustle not being happy, and of course we note your sarcasm there, Fanya Mambo. But uh, the thing is, was there really, from the beginning, a real founded hope that? whatever was being said or whatever was being promised is actually what was going to be done are people disappointed that the hope that they placed was then misguided or are people disappointed because what they were told was going to happen didn't happen those are two totally different things what's going on here exactly people start under a mango tree and they started expecting oranges to fall <laughs> and they were wondering why only mangoes are falling and not oranges the persons who made these promises were known to Kenyans for many years. And if you have known me to be a person of a particular character, and today I come and hold a Bible and go through churches and tell you something different from what you have known me to be, and you believe me, the problem is you who is believing in me. Because you have seen my fruits. They are mangoes. They are not oranges. And I always drop mangoes near me. Why are you sitting there and expecting oranges to fall from my tree? So Kenyans have themselves to blame. Because they knew who these politicians were. Right from the governors they chose to the senators they chose. All the way to the presidency. And then they went there and voted. And sometimes this thing of voting one person to punish another person that you feel you have a grudge against is what is killing this nation. I have always told people, mm. the ballot is a repository of hope. You don't take your grudges there, you don't take your anger, you don't take your bitterness, you don't take your anger there. Mm. The ballot is the place where you take hope. You take plans for your children, your education for your children for tomorrow, the things that you aspire for, the hope, the aspirations, all the good things that you are looking forward to. The problem is, in every ward, in every constituency, in every gubernatorial race, there was a suitable candidate. Mm. And then there was a horrible one who told them the things they wanted to hear. Mm. Unfortunately, the bulk of Kenyans went for the horrible one. And they left the good one. And the bulk of them are now saying things are bad for us. And that's what I was telling, like, not even the fertilizer idea. <clears throat> 60 years after independence... And a country cannot manufacture its own fertilizer. Let's not have a conversation about importation of fertilizer. In fact, I worry deeply when I hear 60 years after independence talking of repackaging fertilizer in Mombasa. What is wrong with our heads? <laughs> the conversation we should be having is 60 years after independence, why are we not able to make our own fertilizer? But as we do that, can we still be importing as we talk about how we can mm -hmm. make our own fertilizer? <laughs> and by the way, a country that has got a cow in almost every other rural home, mm. why are we not talking of um, agriculture that is, uh, that is friendly? Why are we not talking of manure? Why are we not talking of finding a way to use cow dung? In fact, the Maasai, the, 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 the Mbuzi Maasai, the, the fertilizer we use from them is better than these imported ones. The one that we get from their goats. Anybody who's used to that plant knows. So I, I think we are in a place where we are having their own conversations about importing fertilizer. I don't think it's rocket science to manufacture fertilizer. And I don't think we need two, three, four, five years to decide that we are going to make our own fertilizer. The problem is that those people who are importing fertilizer are making money from us. And by the way, we've not heard from government of any plan to compensate because these people are paying for that fertilizer. We've not heard of any plan to compensate these people. It's all a question of this and that. And, and the government cannot exonerate itself from this issue because, number one, who runs cabs? It's government. They're the ones who check standards. 
who runs anti counterfeit it's government mm. they are the ones who check for counterfeit goods so even if these things were counterfeit even if they were bad who runs the prosecutorial bodies yeah so how many arrests have been made whom have we seen and you know i like samia suluhu you hear of some corruption and a whole state department gets fired here people are getting stones for fertilizer which i know are suitable for affordable housing and nothing is happening nobody has been fired nobody has been sacked everything is okay cs linturi is still there i wish i was president mm -hmm. i would fire so many people so that it becomes an example that you will not come and play with the lives of kenyans mm. so long as nobody has been fired so long as nobody has been touched it means government is comfortable with what is happening mm. because if this was magufuli i can tell you there are people who would be in jail by now. So, where is the disappointment? Is the disappointment in that promise? Because you know the thing is, I can give you hope. And then that hope is dashed against the rocks. Is your disappointment in that loss of hope? Or is your disappointment in the fact that I told you I was going to do one, two, three. The hustler was meant to be protected. There were loans that were going to be given to you so that your business would then would be able to flourish. There was almost a guarantee that, you know, prices of certain things would come down. I mean, we could, we could name them for the whole morning. Now, are we saying that the disappointment in that people saw that their lives would go to a certain place by a certain time and that that didn't happen? One could argue that the questions that I'm asking are one and the same. So are we saying now that the things that were promised to Kenyans just over a year ago during the election have not happened and it is in that disappointment that the hustler that Kenyans today are, are, are saying this is an issue <laughs> I think we say the, let, let's say this eh? even when you are dating and when you want to get married mm. you promise so many things mm. on the both side but maybe when you get to the car you get a different life because the car may be, <laughs> you have no control of the vehicle. Mm. Those things happen. And uh, even today, maybe you promised your wife when you are coming back, like my friend here with the kabuti, that I will come with the sugar and I will chicken. come with ABZ chicken mm. and all these things. And maybe when you come with the environment or maybe the boss, he, he, he had paid to pay maybe mm. the, the, the salary. <laughs> Let's say those things happen eh? <laughs> because you go back home disappointed. Without sugar and chicken. Yes, mm. without sugar and chicken. And, uh, but you take Kibrit. And you take wife, Kibrit. whom you think you are very close, <laughs> eh, when he gets those things that are not there, mm. you incite the children and say, see your father. Mm. He promised you today <laughs> to come with the sugar, <laughs> to come with the, with the chicken. He and, has not come with the chicken. <laughs> and the mother-in-law starts saying, <laughs> did I not tell you? Did I not tell you? <laughs> so you, 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 you wonder, this is, the, this is your wife, whom you dated very friendly. But to have reached somewhere, he can maybe mention, do something against. Let's say, it is true that uh, the government uh, promised so many things. Mm. But also let's be human beings of saying, there are certain things which have been done good. Mm. We can see a certain percent have been done good. Mm. And maybe a percent which is not that good, they, we are feeling pain mm. because we are promised. Moshima, let me hold you yes. there. Yes. I believe yeah. in naming these things. Yes. I think that development begets development. Actually, I don't think it's proven over time. Yes. That if you can name and communicate the things, the good mm. things that have been done, mm. the likelihood of people seeing it from a different light then yes. is very clear. Yes. What are the things that Kenyans can actually look at, they latch onto and say, yes, absolutely. In the last one year, four months, we've seen that these things have been done, they've happened, and this is fantastic. And that then can refuel or renew your hope and say, you know what? Sure, these are human beings, but these have been done and we have hope that, you know, it can get better. Three. Well, let me say this. The first priority to me that we have peace in this country it is not like 207 <clears throat> when we had a lot of problems we have peace and when you have peace there is hope mm -hmm. what we need to do actually is to make sure that the people who are working in this government so because we are seeing the president and that's where we are feeling we are all seeing the president the president the president the president mm -hmm. but let me tell you mm. our people are in this government our people are working mm. in this government it is our fathers our children that are also in this government okay so the mess which is coming let's not blame one person there's because a mess coming pardon there's a there's a mess coming no i'm saying the mess which is now okay on i'm mm. sorry for what, that what we are seeing as failures yes okay. which mm. you are seeing as failures okay. Eh? okay actually some of them 
are just made by the people who are in the government, mm -hmm. the people who are employed in the government. Okay. So, me, I still have hope. So there's peace? As a Christian, yeah. as somebody believes in God, mm. I don't see anybody. I see God giving us hope. The end of the tunnel, I'm seeing something good will come. Okay. I must have hope on that. Absolutely. But there are many things I can agree they did not go according the way we had promised. That this will happen, this will happen, this will happen. But still, I want to say, we have only one and a half year. Let's pray for this government and let everybody pull his socks, whatever he is, even in the media. Let's try to give Kenyans hope. There are things that have not been done, Mami. They are. But let's wait and see. And let's talk. <coughs> the most important thing is this platform we are today. Absolutely. Let's talk and say this. I'm in the government, but I'm accepting there's something wrong. Okay. I'm accepting the patriarchy. We have not been given who did it. He is supposed to be in the jail today. I wish I know him. I could have carried him by the name, Mugongo Baka, even to the prison. <laughs> but unfortunately, I don't know him. So there are a few things. Eh? Although there are some pockets which have a problem, like now Ramu is still... I talked about it. There are still problems. There is Pokot. There is Pokot. There is Pokot. There is still problem. Which also, you can't understand why. Let me tell you, because I'm a farmer. Mm. You cannot steal cut, cut mm. uh, from Nairobi and you take up to Nakuru in the morning. Mm. It's not possible. I even don't think even you can reach Naivasha mm. eh? <laughs> before the daytime is, is there. Why can't we put those structures knowing where these cattles are going? I saw in uh, in, in the Balingo in Pokot. I think I'll share with you one of these the, 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 those pictures. Mm. The boys who are killing people, they are children. Nine years, twelve years up to thirteen, fourteen. Mm. Those are children. They don't know what is the meaning of the death. Eh? But this thing can be protected. Mommy, we feel ashamed. And I'm agreeing there are some things. I'm here and I'm in the government. I will say, actually, this one is not Why do you working. think those mm. things are not working? Mm. Because, you know, one thing myself, on my thinking, mm. we created the government of the coalition. Mm. Because we have about 17, 17, uh, 17 parties together. Mm. And when we started now sharing the positions... We just stay, president stays where I, like where I am, mm. then all the parties stays around here. Eh? Mm. Okay, we have formed the government. How many ministers? I'm going to give you two ministers. Mm -hmm. You, I'm going to give you one. Well, you don't have enough number, I'll give you three. Oh, said uh, Milima, you are 47%. Okay, mm. I'll give you this number. I think that's where the problem started. When those people are mandated mm. to bring the people, they brought their girlfriend, they brought their family. Mm. They brought the people they can work with to make money. Mm. I, I think that's where the problem now started. But mm. why would they do that? They do that because they are human beings. And these are the same people who crucified Jesus. The same people. <laughs> the same people. Let's not say like we are special so, or we are different. So we expect, basically what we are seeing, we should not have expected anything more. Because they are human beings, they are weak, they were going to get into office, they were going to divvy up these positions, they were going to bring their girlfriends and business uh, partners into into government no what, what you are saying or what i'm saying mm. myself thinking the president now need to pull up his socks and see this government there's no any other government actually will be done without a coalition of the parties mm. forget it in kenya it's not possible that's what's gone with the moi mm. now the coalition <coughs> must be their parties to make the government but now with the experience even us who are outside or even the president mm. we start we should we, we need to start thinking how do we appoint good people how do we appoint people who cannot disappoint us? Because if you you you, you appoint people, uh, if you are minister, board members, and what you put the people close to you, they, they will not actually obey you. They mm. uh, they will not obey you. It is somewhere yeah. Yeah. that even if it's me, there are some work I cannot <coughs> give my my relative or my children because I know they will disappoint me because they will be seeing me like the father. Mm. So you must be bold mm. to make sure that. Are you getting the right people because now we are working for Kenyans, not for the family? Let me ask you, Nodia, something here. So a lot of the issues that we see today, I mean, I'm sure, um, looking at land issues, looking at education issues, looking at the current doctor strike that's going on, looking at a number of things that we, saw, we don't seem to have a cap on. To be fair, 
these problems did not start with the current administration, right? If you want to look at the education, for example, 54 billion shillings was not allocated, not just in the last one year. We're looking at a five-year problem. So that started a while ago under a previous administration. Okay, many would say that uh, uh, President Ruto was the deputy president at the time, so he was partly involved in that. Uh, health issues, we're looking at a CBA from 2017 to 2021 uh, that has not been enacted, that has not been as, you know, fully... Uh, put through. So these are problems that started a while ago. Um, we're looking at security issues. Security issues have been going on in the rift, in the North Rift, for the last I don't know how many decades. Mm. From we dependent. Sure. So the the bridge many saw was in a new administration that would come and now solve a lot of these problems. So it would be unfair to put the blame squarely on the administration for the problems that the hustler goes through today would it not i'll start with the easiest security mm. are we a kenya kwanza government or are we a haiti kwanza government because when you have bandits in the places you've mentioned and the priority is to send a thousand policemen to haiti not to the bandit areas then we ask ourselves is this kenya kwanza government or is it haiti kwanza government because what we need to do first is to completely put a pause on the idea that we could send a thousand policemen out of a country that already does not meet the un ratios for policemen to citizen requirements so the first thing is to put a stop on that idea that in a country where people are dying in Lamu and parts of the Rift Valley, you would remove our policeman and take him to Haiti when we have bandits here. I've always suggested <clears throat> those bandits are just young people who need jobs. Why don't we send the bandits to Haiti first? We collect all of them wherever they are. We lie to them. They are being recruited to KDF. We put them in a flight. Bandits go deal with bandits. But we are left with our policemen to protect our people. Then we move to the other one of the... The, the issue like now, you know, this government, there are so many problems. Sometimes you even wonder which one you want to deal with and which one you want to lock behind. Strike. But the doctor's strike is a very interesting one. Mm. Initially, they were asking for 4.8 billion, but they relaxed and said, if we got the first 1.2, we can get going. We are ready to start. Uh, there is a billion available to renovate state house, I don't know what for, and 10 million to buy deputy president curtains, but there is no money available for doctor <laughs> strikes. So when hustlers hear that their curtains worth 10 million, and the good thing is I like because these reports come from your own controller of budget, who is a government official, so these are not reports from the bush. And the deputy president is sending, spending 10 million on curtains. A house that cost 400 million to build is being renovated at 600 million, and we don't have 1.2 billion for doctors. So it's a horrible way to start from. You even want to defend them, but where, where do you start? Mm -hmm. When people come and, you know, a billion shillings to renovate state house. A classroom is about a million. We would have a thousand classrooms. A uh, classroom is less than a million. It's less than a million. So we'd yeah. have more than a thousand classrooms. I'm yes. using it with 800. Mm. Yes, exactly. Oh. We'd have more than a thousand classrooms, which would adequately, would, it would really help our young people who are studying in horrible conditions. Anybody who has a child in a public school will tell you what is going on, especially within Nairobi schools. So as I finish, um, look at them now. KRA. The, the, the boss of KRA today now is doing UDA elections affairs. At, at what point did somebody in charge of collecting our taxes, something that is supposed to be so independent, become the returning officer for UDA and, and, and is there and you shamelessly say they are going to help you manage your elections? Why can't he resign from KRA? We, we cannot have that as a nation. It is wrong. I mean, KRA is for all Kenyans. And this person is in charge of KRA. Now, how are we sure that our taxes will not go in the wrong direction? I surely boy. <laughs> this guy no. was Kenaki Mani's director no. of elections even before the election, even during the election. But the rig does. I'm going to talk the truth. You know, if you wanted to know exactly the truth, I was a candidate. Mm -hmm. And I want to say in this media and everybody in Kenya to hear me, I'm not in UDA myself. Yeah. I'll never wear yellow uh -huh. anymore. What happened? Because what happened? I've been with Moi. I've been with Kibaki. I know the structure of, 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 of election. I know how the people should put people together. Mm. I know how we should get your light on the nation. It did not work. Let me tell you, Ikinakuru, they did something with the governor there. Seven family of the of his family 
the, the, the sister, the grandchild, the nini, they gave nomination. My people like in Bad, they got nothing who supported the, the UDA. Mm. So for the UDA, let's not talk about it here for me, because I'm not part and parcel for the UDA. I will support the president, I will go on either independent or any other party, but not in the UDA. Iyo ni matope, iyo ni shida, ambaya ikumbele yetu. It's a big problem. Because, so in which party let me ask you, you my brother, <laughs> you know how I worked for UDA. Mm. Mm. You want to see when we are getting the, uh, 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 the, the director of something, we go and get Western when he was in the other party. There. We, don't, we are not there ourselves. Who did this work for UDA? Why are we not there? Are we not capable? So before we remove ourselves, we are already removed. Before we remove ourselves, <laughs> already we are removed. We are nowhere. Someone like me, they are appointing people, they are giving me people position. Where am I? I was almost dying fighting for, for, for the UDA. But I will tell my brother one thing when I live about the people. Please. You are young, and I know you are looking us for the position. <laughs> Leadership is not a joke. <laughs> <laughs> you, when you get to it, it's like young people. <laughs> when they say, when they get married, how they do? I'll buy my girlfriend. I'll buy my wife a car. I'll build a house. Okay. I'll do all these kind of things. Mm -hmm. I can see mom looking for me very seriously. <laughs> I don't know where can come <laughs> But when you get there, this right. becomes difficult. <laughs> Let me tell you, as an old person. Let's not compare Kenya and Haiti. Please, let's don't. Because the issues you see in Haiti, let me tell you, we can't compare with Kenya. Let's be happy that this country, we have peace, even if with some pockets which are not doing very well, but we cannot compare ourselves with that country. God is with us and we should actually appreciate. I think you are young in 207, maybe you are not finished your education. Oh, a degree of law. <laughs> I was and in campus. I, you had a campus. Yes. And I was there, especially in Akul, where you were affected so much. Mm. I've, I lost 14 of my relatives. Oh, Paul. Just because of stupid things of politics, incitement. And our people died. Up to now, they were displaced, some people. They are, we have not settled those people up to now. We have not completed. So, I would say that uh, the point I would, I would like maybe to agree with you and support you and there's a message we need to repeat and to repeat and to repeat again. Who elected these leaders who are there? Who elected them, see? Who elected them, P? Who elected governors and who elected those people? The problem starts with Wanjiku. When he is given money, bribed, eh? he just go and vote in a different way. Some go and vote in the party line. Some go and vote on the tribal line. So if Wanjiku want to shape this country, he can do it. But because he is like now in our place, in, in Bahati, mm. they were given, the, 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 my company was buying the vote with the 2,000. You give him ID, he give you 2,000. So you have sold your freedom, all your hope, 2,000 for five years. Mm. So now you are complaining. What are you complaining for? Eh? What are you complaining for? You, you did it yourself. So we need also to push down even if we say there is a problem somewhere, mm. but also, Wanjiko, please, we are all preparing ourselves. <laughs> you go and elect people in the UDA, <laughs> you go and elect them in the other parties, and you make sure that hey, this is the party. You sell the party. You not sell individual. I want to urge people, elect somebody. Mm. Forget about the party. The party will take you nowhere. Elect the person you know. He can stand for you. He can die for you. And I will support you. I don't know where you are standing, so I can see how, how you <laughs> how perform. Because <laughs> <laughs> you are young and you are sharp. Ten seconds, as you yeah. say. Uh -huh. What do you want to tell, to tell Kenyans in ten seconds? I think I'd like to tell Kenyans there's hope for this country. But that hope is not pegged on the current administration. It's pegged on purging out all the bad leaders and getting in the good ones. We need to start by looking at that cabinet and mm. saying, who of this cabinet per people is not qualified to be in cabinet? And remove them without mercy. Okay. The, the countries that have done well have done well because they chose the best they had in their country and they put them in positions of leadership. Fanya Mambo Kenodia is a lawyer and Kemani Ngunjiri is a former Bahati MP. They've been out guests this is the situation room the only way to start your day